Good morning, SJB. I'm Olivia. And I'm Alex. And you're watching SJB TV. Good morning, Braves. Here's the latest what's happening around your school today. Coffee House is back. If you're interested in performing, come sign up on the sheet outside the music room door for auditions. Auditions will take place today and tomorrow. This is a showcase for all performing arts, so you can play an instrument, sing, dance, or, if, or read a poet, a poetry. You are welcome to audition. Thank you from your music council. Attention grads, the grad list has been updated. Graduates on the list are now available to pay grad fees on School Cash Online. The fee is $110 and you have until April 13th to pay fees without late fee. As of April 14th, there is a $10 late fee that will be applied. Tickets for the ceremony, which you will receive once you pay the grad fee, are now available in the main office. Also, valedictorian nomination forms are still available in the guidance office. Please see Ms. Vazari if you are interested. Attention clip applicants. We will be conducting interviews Monday to Friday, the week after March break, during period three and four lunches. A sign-up sheet is posted on the door to room 223 with available interview times. It is your responsibility to pick an interview time during your lunch and make sure you show up to the time you have chosen. The sign-up sheet will be posted today and Friday at room 223, and interviews will start Monday after the March break. If you have not yet handed in your clip application, you must do so by Friday at the latest. Thank you from Ms. Bariza, Mr. Kalinchuk, and Mr. Morrison. The library will be closed all day today, including on lunches, due to today's Reach for the Top tournament. Sorry for any inconvenience. To all our senior students interested in trying out for SJB senior badminton team, Please pick up an athletic form and sign up outside the business office, room 121A. Tryouts will be held after March break on Monday, March 19th and Tuesday, March 20th at 3 p.m. in the gym. Please bring your completed athletic form to Monday tryout. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Fr Ms. Friday or Mr. Meme. Grade 12s, don't miss your chance to order your graduation ring in person with the Jostens representative. Grade 11s, this is your opportunity to order your grad ring so you can wear them for your grade 12 year. Meet your rep in the cafeteria from 12 to 1.30 on Tuesday, March 20th and Thursday, March 22nd. Remember to bring your $60 deposit. Rings start at 99 or design your ring online at jostens.com. Team Odyssey 6878 will be competing with the new robot Mario in their first competition during March break on March 15th, 16th, and 17th at Ryerson University. Mario will be playing the power-up game. Support Team Odyssey by watching the live stream available at Blue Alliance link at www.bluealliance.com slash event slash 2018 into one. Congratulations to Team Odyssey for completing their six-week build season and getting robot Mario ready for competition. Best luck at your first competition. All Odyssey team members are going to be the first competition must submit parent permission forms and first consent release forms. T-shirts will be here on Friday. See Miss Bortolotto with your forms and get your team t-shirt Thursday and Friday after school. The girls senior volleyball team fought hard at OFSA this week. They went 0-2 their first day playing the fifth place seed, Preston and second place seed, Oak Ridge. The girls played incredible volleyball and came close to both games. They came the closest to beating Oak Ridge out of anyone in the tournament, and Miss Mossy congratulated the girls on this. Day two, the girls went 2 and 0, oh, beating Westdale Regiopolis, but unfortunately came short losing their quarterfinal games in a five close sets. The girls would like to thank the fan bus for coming on Monday. All the staff members who came to watch or live stream the games and their amazing coach, Miss Mossy. Thanks for such amazing opportunity and great playing girls. 
It's been 24 years since a senior girls volleyball team qualified for OFSA. This is the first year in history of SJB that both the male and female volleyball teams qualified for OFSA in the same school year. That in itself is an amazing accomplishment. In fact, we both lost to the same team in the quarterfinals at OFSA. The girls played against the top teams in the province. They played the best volleyball Miss Mossy has ever seen them play, and she is super proud of each and every one of them. For Miss Mossy, watching them proud of each and every watching them play against Oak Ridge in their gym, packed with their fans, and our 30 fans were amazing. Under all that pressure, they represented Burbuff with heart, soul, and determination. Miss Mossy would like to thank all my girls for their commitment and dedication. To the graduation graduating seniors, Isis Arsetter, who has played for Miss Mossy since grade nine. Emma and Grace are middle hitters who have played since grade 10, and Babs, who played middle for some time right side for the past two years. Miss Mossy wish wishes you the best of luck as you move on to your post-secondary destinations. To our returning Braves, power hitter Kinsley and Victoria, our right side hitter who has played for Miss Mossy the past three years. Power hitter Logans and Libro Carlene have played for the past two years, and rookies Cheyenne, Rebecca, Madison, and Morella. Thank you for understanding how supportive you have been throughout the whole season. These female athletes are all talented and amazing young women. Ms. Mossy would like to thank them for a wonderful season, all the memories, and had a great four days at OFSA. You definitely had a special spot in her heart. When you see them, play, see them in the hallway, please extend a warm congratulations. Congratulations goes out to Brittany and Sydney Hutchinson, who traveled to Windsor for the OFSA Wrestling Champions Championship. This tournament was one of the most hotly con contested championships in the country, and SJB was well represented by these two gifted athletes. Big sister Sydney, with her most successful OFSA to date, finishing the tournament with four wins, all by pin and two losses. Her outstanding performance earned her a seventh place provincial finish in her division. Coaches Verasso, Noonan, and DiBiase are extremely proud of this entire wrestling team. Your hard work and determination is inspiring. Thank you for your commitment to the team. You all truly embody what it means to be a Brave. Have you caught wrestling fever? Interested in trying a new activity or improving skills for another sport? Come speak to the coaches for, for information and timelines for next season. It's never too late. To try your first hand at this fantastic sport, no experience is necessary and all grades are welcome. Good luck to our junior Reach for the Top team as they host a tournament today in our library. Ten teams from the region will be at Rebuff today, competing in an academic trivia challenge. Team members are asked to be in the library no later than 9 a.m. There will be a second tryout for the senior boys soccer team tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. in the gym. If you have not yet handed in a permission form, please pick one up from outside room 215 and bring it to the tryout. Thanks from Ms. Rogano. Attention all anime and gaming club members. Just a reminder that this year's movie night is tonight from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. in the auditorium. You can cosplay if you want to. However, there are some restrictions. Standard convention rules apply as well as no weapons whatsoever. Remember to bring your sweaters to represent SJB as there are other schools coming as well. See you then. Thanks from AJ and Miss Ray. I think what it means to be ready is just to be prepared to go to class and be mentally prepared to learn whatever you need to know for the day. The phrase be ready to me means going to bed early enough so you get enough sleep, preparing for tests, and being ready to learn in the morning. I think to be ready means having everything prepared for class, having all of your school supplies, and studying in advance for all of your tests and quizzes and your exams. To quote our motto, body, mind, and soul, we need to have all parts of ourselves to be ready at all times and to be able to expect the unexpected. To be ready, I think, means that you are mentally prepared as well as physically prepared with all the supplies you need and you are here on time. I think being ready means that you're mentally and physically prepared to be at school by making sure that you're drinking enough water and getting enough exercise and getting enough sleep and also if you're stressed at all then finding ways to cope and deal with that stress.
That's all for today's News Desk, JB. And remember, it's not always the will to win, but the will to prepare to win that makes a difference. Have a thoughtful Thursday, Braves. And don't forget that the library will be closed for the, for the entirety of today. Good luck to those reaching for the top.